Ice Corner, one of the most pitiless landscapes in the world, the arid Australian outback. In this corner, one of the most resilient survivors in the world, the red kangaroo. With skills shaped by millions of years of evolution, this time it's brought a knockout punch, a devastating drought. As thousands succumb to dehydration and starvation, one remarkable kangaroo may be on the ropes. Can he make it through hell on earth? Or is this one fight even the red kangaroo can't win? Australia, the oldest continent on the planet. Almost three quarters of it looks like this. At its centre, it gets five inches of rain a year. The mercury can hit 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But the hardest part for those who live here is the climate's unpredictable personality. This is a place where there are no true seasons. Only moods. To make it here, you need to be able to roll with the punches and shift gears in a hurry. The acknowledged master of that art in the Australian outback is the red kangaroo. The largest marsupial in the world. Its progress won't be kick-started again until the peanut reduces his suckling. Number three is the joey, who's spending some time suckling from outside the pouch and some out on his own in the big wide world. is a living assembly line of young at various stages of development. But when times are hard, the system has to be ruthless. She will cut off nutrition to the peanut in her pouch, and when it dies, she'll restart the embryo's development to take his place. Rusty's developing nicely, He's beginning to resemble something like a baby kangaroo. Now three months old, he can hear all the sounds of the world he'll soon be inhabiting. It's all so unfamiliar. It's not surprising he'd prefer to stay in the pouch for just a while longer. There's plenty of... But Rusty's not the only one in the neighbourhood with a serious set of legs. An emu, the biggest native bird in Australia, announces his arrival. His skirt of feathers absorbs 80% of solar radiation, leaving the skin underneath cool. This dad needs a cool head. In the emu world, dads take on all parental responsibility. The chicks will be under his wing for 18 months. Not exactly the red kangaroo way. Males are pretty much deadbeat dads. They leave as soon as the young are conceived. 
Rusty also still relies on his mother for food and protection, so he tends to stay close. But apparently he's also got an independent streak. Maybe there's even more fun out there. Soon, he leaves the rest of the mob and is in uncharted territory. Not a good place for a baby kangaroo to be. A wedge-tailed eagle. The largest bird of prey in Australia. And it likes to take young kangaroos. Mum realises she doesn't know where Rusty is. But the eagle does. Rusty's big ears and instincts tell him something's not right, but he's too young and inexperienced to know what it is. Rusty left his mother's side, then he's in trouble. With the bone-crushing power of her talons, the eagle could seize Rusty and drag him to his death. But suddenly, there's a flurry of panicked activity nearby. A rabbit is running for its life. For Rusty, there was easier prey to be had. This time. Red kangaroos and wedge-tailed eagles share the same territory. And when the eagle has a chick to feed, the hunting never stops. More than 10% of the eagle's diet is kangaroo. old and a full-fledged joey, a juvenile that spends all his time outside the pouch. In a few months, he won't have mum's milk to rely on anymore. And his mother will start tapering off his milk supply because there's another bun in the oven and it needs the nutrition. Mum's body now produces two totally different types of milk. A more dilute one for his tiny sister and a richer one for him. Each dispensed from its own nipple 